I've had the privilege of visiting some of the most spectacular places in the Gulf of Mexico with my father aboard Calypso and with my team of explorers as we filmed for our TV program, Ocean Adventures. The Gulf is rich with unique and diverse ocean life and environments, and each of the countries that help manage the Gulf is working to protect the special places in their waters. Cuba has some of the healthiest coral reefs in the Gulf and in all of the Caribbean. My father worked closely with President Castro during the 1985 filming of our TV special, Cuba Waters of Destiny. Mexico protects several Gulf of Mexico jewels in national parks and biosphere reserves. And the U.S. protects and sustainably manages unique locations through national marine sanctuaries, national parks, and conservation areas. The Gulf has large industries such as oil and gas, shipping, fishing, and tourism that create millions of jobs. And these industries cooperate with ocean conservation efforts so that each can thrive adjacent to the other. There are many good things to celebrate in the Gulf of Mexico. However, we can create a stronger system of stewardship where each of the marine and national parks collaborate with each other, sharing information and strategies so that the Gulf is managed as an ecosystem. Science has shown us that everything is connected. This system of ecosystem connections is the basis for how Cuba, Mexico, and the United States are proposing to work together to protect what we share in the Gulf of Mexico. They call it the Gulf of Mexico Sister Sanctuary Network. The Sister Sanctuary Network will facilitate the sharing of science and understanding so managers can better prepare for and respond to the changes and threats that the region will face in the future, particularly due to climate change and from potential effects that increased tourism to Cuba could have on its coral reefs, whose continued health is vital to the entire Gulf. There should be no resistance to creating the Sister Sanctuary Network since it does not impose any closures or restrictions on commerce and industry. It is a way to work smarter and together for the health of our shared ocean planet, our life support system. My father used to say to me, people protect what they love. And I would reply, how can we protect what we don't understand? Creating a sister sanctuary network will help us work across borders as partners to manage and protect the Gulf of Mexico as a magnificent ocean ecosystem.